I have always heard that in business, the fastest way to grow is word of mouth. Someone saying, oh my God, this is amazing. This is fantastic. You have to check this out. That person that hears that information is much more likely uh, to investigate and learn more about the service than someone who just finds it on their own. Now, I do this constantly. I am constantly sharing things that I find uh, amazing, fantastic books, tools, things like that. I'm like, hey, you have to go check this out. Like, you have to know about this. But... In the, you know, in the digital space, we rely a lot on reviews, and I didn't think they were as important until I started doing research for this specific video. More about that in a second, but first, a word from our sponsor. So... In preparation for this video talking about reviews and uh, building up your authority, I found out uh, some answers to a few burning questions here and some statistics I want to talk about. So first, do reviews actually matter, right? Let's just get it out in the open. Do they matter? Well, you could pause the screen and read all of this, but I'm just going to go over some of the highlighted material here. 92% of uh, customers read online reviews before buying. Personally, I don't really read reviews. I'm like, does the offer sound good? Is it within my price range? Cool, I'm ready to go, let's do it. But 92% of customers read online reviews, which means they're really important. 88% of consumers say reviews influence their online purchasing decisions. I don't let it influence me because I don't necessarily relate with the people who do the review. So I can't go off my own opinion. But statistics prove that people who read other testimonials and go, oh, my God, I can see why that works for them. I want that to work for me. Let me do it. 88% of consumers say reviews influence their online purchasing decisions. My next question was, well, how many reviews do I need to aim for? Right? Does the number of reviews even matter? 72% of consumers will take action only after reading a positive review. That's kind of important. 73% uh, of consumers read six or fewer reviews before making a decision. What does this mean? Only six reviews? Is that all I need? Yeah. If you can get a handful of people to give you a review, that's better than nothing. And turns out, statistically, most people are only going to read that much, which is crazy, right? 73% are going to read six or fewer. They might only read two or one. But you want to aim for at least six. Even if you just did, if you're starting out, your first six clients you did for free just to get six testimonials, that's fantastic. Now you have a good number to start with. But what happens if we get more testimonials? Because there are some people who make a funnel and it's a video of them talking and then an onslaught of testimonials for like... You could keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling at hundreds of testimonials. Do you need that much? Well, 12% of consumers read more than 10 reviews. 12%. Not a big number. So if you put 10 reviews, are you wasting real estate on your page? Mm, maybe, maybe not. It depends. right? But 12%. So if you're trying to squeeze out every person who lands on that page, then 12% is kind of important. Let's say you go more than 10. 10 or more reviews can increase search traffic. That was rather interesting to me. I did not know that testimonials would increase our search traffic. If you're trying to get found on Google just because of search traffic and SEO, your testimonials, your reviews might help you there. 40 or more reviews are needed before consumers will consider a star rating to be accurate. That means if you have six reviews and they're all five stars, people might not think they're accurate. Maybe you just plucked out the six five stars and you've got hundreds and hundreds of one star reviews. So it turns out 40 or more reviews are needed for consumers to think that that's accurate. 50 or more reviews on multiple product pages can actually increase your conversions by 4.6%. Now we're talking about funnels, so that doesn't necessarily pertain to us. However, you should aim to have a lot of testimonials, as many as you possibly can. And then you get to pick and choose, depending on which target market you're talking to, which will speak to them the most effectively, the best, right? If you're uh, talking with single moms who are dealing with hyperactive dogs, then the testimonials that deal with loose leash walking for kids isn't going to do the same, right? It's just not going to work. But single moms... Uh, actually, those testimonials with those kids might work. <laughs> they, they might actually work. But let's say you had two separate groups and you had testimonials from all of them. You don't want to be mixing them together. You want to use the testimonials that relate to the individuals who are seeing the page, okay? All right, so let's move down uh, to our next section here. And I'm going to put the link to the article where I got this information if you want to dive into it more uh, down below. 
Should I put it on my Google account or just on my sales page? I started to think about this. Well, if it's important for SEO, if it's important for the authority, does it really need to be on the page? And on average, the testimonials on sales pages increases conversions by 34%. That's enough for me to consider it important. Right? It's not 50, it's not 70, it's not 100%, but 34% is a significant number. So I'm going to include some testimonials on my funnel pages. Do people even watch video testimonials? All right. Do they even watch them? I personally, again, I do not read testimonials often. And when I do, I, I don't really like, I, I don't read them, okay? <laughs> I don't read them, but I know they're important. So I was putting them on pages and now, now I'm completely sold on the fact that reviews need to be on my pages. So I need to implement a more of a strategy to get more reviews. And we're gonna go over that in a second. So the video testimonials, how important are the video testimonials? 79% of consumers have watched a video testimonial to learn more about a company. I honestly thought people just had those videos there and then no one watched them. But apparently 79%, almost 80% people. 70% of marketers say videos convert better than any other medium. I knew videos were important because people don't really like reading. They're just like listening. So videos I knew were important, especially in the sales page space. Uh, right if you just have a sales page of you talking but a testimonial video is 10 times better it is because 90 percent of users say that seeing a video about a product is helpful for making decisions because it actually shows them down here 77 uh, 47 percent of people say testimonial videos are effective because they help visualize how a product or service actually works remember whenever you're selling anything to anybody the biggest hurdle that you have to come over is their confidence that it's going to work if they don't think it's going to work, if they think you're full of fluff, then they're not going to work with you. If they can see time and time again over testimonial and testimonial and testimonial and testimonial that it works, they're going to want to work with you because their level of confidence has been raised. So how do you do this? If you watched yesterday's video or the day before yesterday's video, then you saw our follow-up sequences, our emails, our follow-up funnels. All you're going to do is change those things around just a little bit so that they align with your review sequencing. What do I mean? If you want to get reviews on Yelp, you want to get reviews on Google, all you're going to do is send them about three to five, maybe even seven emails telling stories, other people's success stories, epiphany stories, your story, whatever it is, building this relationship after you've had success with them. You've, you've, you've done the training with them. Maybe they did a boot camp. Maybe they did a course. Maybe they got your PDF, your free PDF, your free guide, your free video, whatever it is. You're just going to reach out to them and say, hey, would you mind leaving me a review? And you follow up with them until you get a review from them. It does not need to be a long dissertation. And sometimes actually telling them, hey, I just need a couple of words. I don't need paragraphs. Take three minutes. Just do this for me now. Not three minutes. That's a long time. Take 30 seconds. Do this for me now. And, you know, maybe you give them something back in return. Some people frown on that concept of giving them something back in return because it seems like you're buying a testimonial. And I don't want you to do that if that's the way you feel about it. And that's not how you should go about it. I don't want to buy a testimonial from someone. I just want to thank them for their service uh, of taking the time and giving me a testimonial. Okay, maybe you uh, give them a free PDF or a video or something that's not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the word for it. I'm going to find the word for it and I'm going to put it down in the comments section below. If you guys like today's video, please let me know what questions you have about funnels and running your dog training business, about sales, marketing, operations, funnels, all of this kind of good stuff. If you like what I'm doing, please let me know. Give me some positive, reinsor uh, positive reinforcement, some feedback by hitting the like button. If you want me to build out a funnel for you, head over to caninebusinessbuilders.com. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.